together, but it's it's not the end. It's just the beginning of of us connecting together and us being teammates and support systems for each other. To start that, we want to open it up, do some country presentations, uh, teach each other a little bit about where we're from. Anyone, would anyone like to volunteer to go first? back in the 30s so she gave us she gave Saba the name land below the wind yeah next okay. which is also a traditional costume for the Malays in Peninsula Malaysia yeah. hello hello on Kilamadu is the highest mountain in Malaysia it's located in Saba yeah, the neighboring state to the country Brunei have you ever heard of Brunei first season of the Survivor Borneo, have you ever heard Survivor Borneo? Yeah. So it was shot in one shot. Okay. of our island in Sabah. Okay. Hello guys, we are from Kelantan. Hello. 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 Sabah is more than 33 different ethnic races and over 80 local dialects spoken as well. There's more than 33 dialects spoken. Okay, I'm sorry, it's so okay. It's a good morning for Language. Oh. In Sabah, we have rainforest that is estimated to be around 140 million years old. Um, in Sabah, there's a festival that is called Kaamatan, which is celebrated by the KLDMR or Kadasan Dusun Murut. In Sabah, we have largest island. It's named Bangi Island. And I was born there. Here, Melvin is wearing the traditional attire for Dusun in Kota Belud. Kota Belud is also a district in um, Sabah. How many of you have ever been in the Gambia? Oh, yeah, uh, Momo is from, this is the upper river. And we have Central River region. Who is from Central River? His Excellency Sheikh Professor Dr. Al Haji Yahya A. J. J. Jamel. Who took power our country? Oh, yes. Every program, if you don't put that in there, that program is not in This next also is. In uh, with our team, say Tanzania. Wow, this is Tanzania. Yeah, this is Tanzania. Okay. 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 Tell me why it's nothing but a heartache. Tell me why it's nothing but a mistake. Now tell me why I never want to hear you say I want it that way. Sekarang kami mengapek-pek dengan kumpul-kumpul di sini. After this, our flight will be at four. We are going to Miami.
thank you for flying with us today. We hope to see you again soon on another American Airlines flight. Hello guys, we're in Miami now. It's not so cold like in Philly. So, yeah. Miami, Miami. This is a personal sharing from a friend who plays high level sports back home. And I really, really thank you for sharing and making this such a good space to learn. be broken up into six sections. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Permanent coach or just uh, pay, pay part time? They're paid. They're paid, yeah. They're paid and we give every coach, we try to assign every coach two teams. 
So since they have to come onto the island, it's worth it for them to come three days a week out here and train. And they, that way, you know, they can make money with two teams. Some coaches will also come and do the rec program. Some, some of them, it's their full-time job. For many of them, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a night job. They have a day job, but they love the game and they want to come out at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock and keep going and training with and, the kids. And where the club did an excellent job. So it starts from here and then it goes to them, which these are, these are recruit the, the great special. coaches that we have. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, these two gentlemen are phenomenal. Like from heart to here, and then he gets, they get people that are on that same pathway. Yeah. So that's something that I could vouch for in this club that they do very well. And then we also implement the Barcelona Tovo, the Tovo Institute method. We realize that coaches are coming and each one is, comes from a different school and they wanted to implement what they knew. But we said no, we wanted to implement this. once they reach the team? Yeah, actually, I mean, what I do with my, I have a, uh, in a weekend training with the head. I mean, it's a regulation over here in the United States. Florida, state, uh, we have a lot of lightning. Lightning, yes. Okay? So, um, when the lightning is less than 10 miles away from here, okay, we have to stop the training. <laughs> I can I want, I'm gonna photo Training session. How we starting? Most of the training we starting doing rondo. You know, you know what I mean, rondo, right? Okay. Rondo is look like a simple, boring, but you know, I think it's one of the most important things because you know, you teach the kids how you pass the ball, how they use, uh, how they had to use the body. Okay, position of your body when you receive the ball, when you're ready to pass the ball, okay? And uh, you teach them how they had to pass the ball, how to, how to be quick or fast under pressure. So we're going to start in the morning the airboat ride. We're going to go to the Miccosukee Tribes Reservation and we're going to take their airboat and it's going to go out to the Miccosukee Tribes Island. They call them hammocks. It's basically uh, a little island in the middle of the river of grass, the Everglades. And so we're going to uh, take that airboat and we'll learn about the history of the Miccosukee. Uh, one of the tribes that lives in Florida today is also the Seminole. Uh, and then uh, we'll get to explore uh, Everglades itself is a name that was given to this area by the British. So in the 1700s, they were trying to map out these areas and they came to these vast stretches of cattails and sawgrass and they said that it was forever glades. So in England, a glade is a, a grassy opening in a forest or a wetland. And they're made, and they're going similar. to use more calories, and they're going to be feeding more and be more active during that period. For the rest of the year, they're pretty lazy, praying and active. You know, they just, you know, sit under the sun. They just, you know, if they're comfortable there, they seem to tolerate us a little more. If they're uncomfortable, if they don't find the right temperature, anything seems to spook them into the water. They find shelter and protection in the water. They also uh, find the right temperature in the water when we have extreme temperatures out here. So let's say it gets too cold, the water, they warm up in the water, right? If it gets too hot, they cool off in the water, all right? So when it's right, they'll be out here. When it's not right, they're gonna be in the water.
Fargo terrain. The only way that you can move around here is those dugout canoes. So there wasn't any way you can't put any conventional boats. So probably if the, air, the troops would have had airboats, there would be no Native Americans here at all, all right? So the few ones that stayed and remained adopted a guerrilla warfare tactic until like for 50 years they fought all Seminole Wars. Eventually they never signed a peace treaty, but 100, 100 years later, uh, they got their, their reservations and they got their, their, their area and their territory. Buliba Kalakao. No, I know he is he because every he is a proper. No, no. Is no. Ini Big Cypress National Preserve kita nak tengok uh, apa kita masuk ke dalam area Everglades adalah uh, it is the third largest um, park in uh, minus Alaska okay in the mainland the mainland the water is flowing through here and so it's flowing basically from that first stop that we made all the way to the Naples area and it's just this huge swamp of water about 80 miles wide so considered the widest river in the world, but now it is dried up. So if you were to go tearing off into this, then you would get cut up. Uh, the bears and the deer, they all have thick fur that protects them from when there's no trauma. That's so that's the flowering part of the Brazil. Oh, that see. little red branch occurs is where the, the purple strike. flower. Okay. We get tons of lightning. Yeah, in Florida. The lightning capital of the world, supposedly. And all of this will burn. So lightning hits, this all burns. Mm -hmm. Most of these plants are adapted to survive that. So the cypress trees have really thick bark. The what palm trees, like all of this? what happens to this? Mm -hmm, this they come out here, uh, the, the burn crew comes out here and they protect it. They put okay. some type of Something. flame retardant, okay. uh, natural um, okay. uh, chemical to prevent it from, from okay. affecting the, okay. the boardwalk. Sometimes it burns, sometimes they can't yeah, get here fast can. enough. <laughs> But they will do prescribed fires where they actually set it on fire to yeah. mimic the lightning. And that way it will burn off any excessive vegetation that is built up over time and that will prevent really intense fires later on. Out here are these uh, what look like stumps. Those are actually cypress knees. Now that is part of the root system of these cypress trees. So they send their roots down, they hit the rock uh, after going through the soil, and then they go out and then they emerge and they come up like this. And they stop like that? They stop like that, oh. yeah. So they will grow cool. as high as the water will, will come up. So uh, I guess that's as high as the water gets around here. Uh, but that is part of the root system, and it could be from any one of these trees, and they're all interlocked under the, yep. the surface. Okay. And that helps keep them from tipping over during hurricanes. Evelyn sama Lindsay again. Don't know what Hey! 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 I'm going to bring the van over here as everybody starts loading up, get everybody to lunch. Yes, that's what we want. Hi, sekarang kita berada di Fort Lundur, Piki, Tengo, Dolphin, Dekat, Sini, Pak, 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 National Park. Hi guys. Quick 
rules before we get going. Uh, life jackets are overhead. We don't need them, but we need to let you know where they're at. All right, there's a heavy boat today. We got lots of people on board. It's very important that while we're going, I can see where we're going. Uh, please do not stand on the benches. It's the only way to fall out of the boat. We don't want anybody to fall out of the boat. The sky. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled all around the boat. We're looking for dolphins. Right. If you see that dark gray fin, let us know. We want to show it to everybody. Now, certain things don't show us a second look, a third look. So I heard that some of you are from Tanzania. So we got some people from Tanzania, and then some of you are from Malaysia. And I want to ask everybody your favorite national parks. Now, okay, we like Yellowstone. Now I'm not too familiar with the national parks in the countries you came from. Here's a trick you want to think about. are not small birds, those to right now, you'll always be next to you. All right, so. Go that way, that way, that way. I'm talking for you. I'm talking for you. I'm talking for you. Tell me, do you need help? 
change more than somebody's kids.
final day of two weeks, uh, half in Philadelphia, half here in beautiful Miami. Um, we had two weeks full of, of workshops and trainings, uh, cultural exchange, uh, opportunities to learn from each other, um, chances to share uh, about our own cultures, learn about other cultures, um, and really just have a, an opportunity to learn. Um, and it was a, a really busy, uh, positive experience for, for everybody. Uh, for myself, who helped you know put this program together alongside my our team, um, it was really incredible to observe and to be a part of of the experience and get to see uh, growth within all of the the coaches, um, see how engaged everybody was in all of the different sessions, see how willing to to learn everybody was, uh, and then on top of that, how open and willing everybody was to share. Um, their own knowledge uh, with everyone that we met along the way um, and so overall it was an incredible uh, experience and, and a little bit bittersweet uh, you know two weeks is is a good amount of time but it's also short um, and so you know it's sad to see everybody go home uh, but this is just the beginning uh, and we now have built a foundation from which we can can really grow together and uh, be each other's support system and be each other's teammates uh, as we continue down uh, our paths. Um, and the, the coaches from Malaysia specifically um, were just an absolute pleasure. Uh, positive, always, uh, always engaged, uh, always on time to everything. So as someone who puts these together and, and our schedule can be quite busy, uh, that's a really important one. Um, but always smiling, always happy, uh, always just eager to, to, to ask questions and to, and to learn and to share. Um, and, and that's really all we can ever ask uh, is just to be engaged and, and to be positive and to, to really soak everything in. Um, it, it's an incredible group of coaches and, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for everybody and, and to, to kind of keep everything and the, the momentum going uh, as, we, as we move forward together.